When it comes to YouTube pranksters, I've seen them all embarrassing themselves for clicks. You've got people like FusiTube who did whatever they could to get that fame, pretending he was a woman, shaking his butt, embarrassing people. You've got people pretending to say the N-word in neighbourhoods, but actually they said neighbour. That's just the ones that come to the top of my head. There are loads of pranksters out there, but they don't quite do it like they used to. I couldn't tell you a single prankster who is worth your time these days. You know, you've got embarrassing kids like that Jack Doherty, whatever he's called. He's not a prankster, he's a lame prick who is just embarrassing and cringy to even look at you've got other people who just do sort of tiktok mini sketches and just sort of embarrass themselves but today i came across for the first time a youtuber by the name of what was his name uh, i've forgotten his name yanike his name Jan Eyck. This gentleman right here, you might know him. He is um, a fake. He is a YouTube prankster, if you could even call him. I would actually call him a criminal and a man who throws shit at unsuspecting customers. Not great. What did he do? Well, he, as I just mentioned, throws shit at unsuspecting customers. He's done it multiple times. He fills up a bucket and he was throwing diverse substances, including feces, paint and food on people on the buses and trains and all that. He has only 300 subscribers, which I know is a big number. Don't get me wrong, but he's on 300 subscribers and that's the type of pranks he's doing. Now the local authorities have got involved. The creator has been arrested basically for committing crimes, <laughs> which is, you know, not a surprise. He's literally thrown shit at someone on a bus. I mean, what more do you need? So I thought we'd explore this man's YouTube channel. He must be such a prankster and absolute legend of the game. So this guy goes to a train station. Very loud music. Let's turn that shit down. What the fuck's going on? Click, click, click. It's in German or some shit like that. I don't know. He puts litre of salads or whatever that is water maybe looks watery he then puts loads of chemicals and paint and fizzy drinks and water and shit and just stuff that will kill you gives it a mix gives it a shake Go on he then goes to the local um park and he finds sh shit caca means shit I'm fairly certain. I might be wrong, but I know caca with a K in a language means shit. De chien. What's a chien? Is it a dog, a cat, fucking horse? He then mixes it together, adds in a few bit, bit of seasoning, adds a few leaves, and then what a tasty, delicious recipe he's cooked up. And I'm sure you've all seen what he does next. What the fuck? Imagine if you're that man, you're going to work or something like that. You're going home from work. I mean, he's probably not. He's got the biggest puffer jacket I've ever seen on. And someone pours la caca on you. You'd be absolutely heartbroken. Thankfully, the police have been called and he has been arrested. Too right, he's poured shit on someone. This video is just 11 minutes of fat people eating. Oh, he's got the Louis V bag with the bail, but the bag Chanel. So he's a bit of a twat, basically. Not only does he wear that, but he's also dressed like an absolute muppet. I think it's Kenny you eat an XL meal in three minutes. Riveting. Not very cool, is it? No, who, who cares? It's not very good content. I know my stuff's drab, but good lord, who cares? So he, he's made another surprise de chef. This music is horrific. So he adds all sorts. I'm not sure, you know, 15k views, I know some people watch it, but who watches this shit? Like, you must be off your head if you find this entertainment. Adds it, mixes it. O obviously, this guy was not loved from a year early age. You know, he had no parents that looked after him, and he was sort of like an only kid, and he's a bit deranged, probably dropped a few times, kicked on the floor, that sort of thing. And he thinks this is normal and acceptable to do. Oh, God, what in the fuck? So he gets a big stick, gets his gas mask on, wears his night jumper. Poor oh, guys, he's doing... Is he it's like the same train again. Who's he going for? Fuck me. Next time I get on the train, I'm going to have my senses about me. My spider senses better be tingling because I'm not having this done to me. Come on, bro. There he is. He's livid. That guy runs. Giving it away slightly. You're in on it, aren't you? Holy fuck. So he's done it in multiple... He's done it. This is the third one. That was the fourth. Sick. Done it six times and got away with it. Why have people not called the police? Now, like I said before, my... He's a bit of an idiot because he's put his face on it as well. I, I'm a bit shocked how he hasn't worked out he's committing a crime and then he's decided to put his face on it. But he needs a bit of DIY on his uh, bloody lawn. Dude, is he Francais? Do he speak French? They sound very French. See this? Can you stay in a plank for 10 minutes? $100. Like, that's just shit content, mate. Fucking rubbish. Quit! But as I mentioned before, this man's been arrested and rightly so. Now, people like this need seriously putting in some sort of mental institution. He should be given 10 years and never, never allowed access to the internet. How can you think that throwing crap, in, so it's in Brussels, uh, which is obviously that country in Europe that I know, throwing shit at passengers and thinking it's normal and then getting shocked when you're arrested. Like, this man's been arrested. His life is probably not going to be the same anymore. Will he go jail? You think so? Yanike on social purposes, seven videos over the past month titled Chef Surprise, which splashes 
is dismayed by says but brown mixtures while filmed by an accomplice it's like by an accomplice they got me but yeah this is his channel it's pretty wrong uh thankfully it'll probably be banned soon i mean luckily fucking hell there's some loonies on the internet though in there how can someone like this actually be in society and not have been cast out or you know something even better or worse depending which side of the fence you're on thank you to the great enforcers like who stopped this man from ruining people's train trips like the train's bad enough mate who wants to get on the train and then who wants to be on the train with your Nike? you know it's a game over it's it's not fun and it's going to be horrible to be a part of thank you to the law enforcement to taking this out the here we go the bucket contained beer here we go the bucket contained beer water paint food dog feces what an abhorrent thing to do deserves a good amount of prison time for sure absolutely 10 years in jail 24 hour lockup i think make an example as well i'm all for a good prank but that's not not a good prank i didn't laugh once during that prank i don't mind a bit of an edgy prank you know something that's a bit on the line where you go oof if that happened to you you wouldn't like it but at the same time it's funny that is not funny and if it happened to me i'd fucking kill them you know it's fucking joke like it's absolutely mental anyway i'm gonna leave that there you're nike you scumbag time to retire and go to jail ha 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 idiot things people do for clicks though you should have just you know stuck to and you just do a plank for a hundred dollars because that's so much more entertaining i mean that's boring isn't it he, he clearly has no video content or video creativity that's ironic. Stay tuned on this one though, let's see what happens.